Hey everybody, um, Rachel here. I'm still a little under the weather, as you can tell by my squeaky little voice, but um, I wanted to welcome everyone to my Keys to Success series, and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as the title suggests, this video is going to be about um, understanding the HCG diet. Um, and when I say that, that's a little that's a little broad, but you know, understanding what it is, how it works, um, and the diet protocol itself. Um, this probably isn't going to be too long of a video because I'm going to link a couple of videos that I already made, and in addition to that, I'm going to go into some more detail in um, videos in the future. So we will get right to it. Um, if you have never heard anything before about the HCD. HCG diet protocol or if you have and you're curious you're not sure um, hopefully I can maybe teach you a little bit about it today because um, the most important thing to note about this diet because I have been doing it since June um, I know people that have been doing it for a year more um, it works this diet works if you want to lose weight and you want to lose it fast it works but what you need to understand is what you're getting into because it's not like, you know, anything else in the world. You can't just do it kind of half-heartedly and then expect to go back to the way that you were and still keep the weight off. You know, it's <clears throat> with anything, you know, it requires um, work. So a little bit um, about what it is. Um, HCG is an acronym for um, Human Chorionic Gonadotrophin, and I'll put that big long word right down here. Um, and what that is, is a hormone that is produced by a pregnant woman. And um, they, they do get it from the urine, but they refine it and, um, you know, refine it down and to make the actual medication that is used. Um, what's interesting to note about the hormone is it's only produced typically within the first 14 weeks of a woman's pregnancy, typically when she wouldn't really maybe know that she was pregnant. And HCG is actually the hormone that when you use a pregnancy test is detected by the test in your urine to see whether or not you're pregnant. A lot of times you'll hear HCGers on YouTube saying that they are going to test their HCG to see if it's pregnant. And that's what they're talking about. You can test the um, the HCG on a pregnancy test to see if it's still um, good, if it's still viable. <clears throat> and um, what HCG does in a woman's body who is pregnant is, you know, regardless of a pregnant woman's um, surroundings, caloric intake, whether or not she realizes she's pregnant. HCG guarantees that the developing fetus is going to have the calories and the um, nutrition that it needs to develop properly. And um, it does this by, you know, if the, if the woman, for example, isn't taking good care of herself because she doesn't know that she's pregnant or is unable to, um, you know, it, it works with the woman's body and uses the um, abnormal, what's referred to as abnormal fat for fuel. Um, this is why, you know, for example, if you had a pregnant woman who, you know, lived by good standards, um, you know, had access to food, and then you have <clears throat> another pregnant woman who, say, lives in a third world country and she's malnourished and, you know, doesn't always have a meal, but they can both deliver healthy babies. And so, um, ATG kind of explains that. Um, and it's this concept of releasing the abnormal fat as fuel for your body that um, is what the diet is based on. Um, when you do the diet protocol, first of all, I always say this, but if you haven't ever read Pounds and Inches, do that. It's the manuscript that was written by the doctor, um, Dr. A.T.W. Simeons who originally made this connection with HEG and fat loss. Um, he wrote the manuscript. He knows what he's talking about. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. Um, but in his diet protocol, he combined 
taking the HCG with a very low calorie diet of only 500 calories per day. Um, <clears throat> and normally when people hear the 500 calories, a flip just kind of switches and, um, you know, people are like, oh, well, anybody can lose weight 500 calories a day. You're starving yourself. Well, that's not the case with HCG because it's reacting specifically with the hypothalamus gland to tell your body to burn your excess fat as fuel because you're, you know, you're only taking in 500 calories yourself. But on average, you know, when you consider how much of the fat that your body is using as fuel, as fuel, excuse me, um, you're you know, you're probably going through 2,000, 2,500 calories a day using up your body's fat. And, um, you know, that's how you can drop the weight so fast. You know, the first week you might lose 10 pounds or, you know, sometimes more, sometimes less. And there's a lot of factors that it depends on. Um, there are several ways to actually take the medication. Um, there's two different types of HCG. Uh, there is the prescription grade, which I'll talk about in a second, and then there's also homeopathic HCG. Now, there is a big rift among HCG dieters about whether or not homeopathic HCG is legit and whether or not it works. Well, that is an argument that I do not wish to get into. However, I can speak from experience. I have used both. I've used homeopathic and I've used prescription HCG, and they both work. So, decide what you want. Um, there's certain, you know, there's pros and cons for each one. Maybe I'll do a video about that, but like I said, I don't want to get into that. Um, so you can do homeopathic, which is usually in a, in a drop form that you put under your tongue like three times a day. Um, or you can do the prescription grade, and you can do the prescription grade two ways. You can do it sublingually, um, much like the homeopathic, except for it requires you to hold it under your tongue for a lot longer. Or um, you can do injections, which is what I've done. And um, most people use diabetic syringes and inject into fat so that you really can't feel it. Um, the only problem with using prescription HG, HCG is, you know, it's just that you have to have a prescription to use it or else you have to go through a, um, an escrow service to get the medication if you're going to do it yourself. There are clinics that um, will prescribe it to you and, you know, you can do their program and you can do it through their clinic. But this, you know, this will cost you probably upwards of about 600 to maybe, you know, over $1,000 a month. So cost-wise, it's a lot more affordable if you do it yourself. And there's so much information available, you know, on things like YouTube and um, the HCG Facebook community and just on the internet in general about, um, you know, making it easy to do it for yourself. Um, in the United States, uh, HCG is not approved by the FDA for weight loss. It is approved by the FDA for um, fertility, but not for weight loss. So therefore, you can't get it um, in the United States. So if you order it, it has, you know it comes from some other country, and um, that's why you you know you have to wait typically a, a pretty good while to to get it. But um, you know. Like I said, speaking from experience, HCG does work. I've lost almost 50 pounds since June. I know people who've lost more than 100. You know, it's it's just, it's a really great diet that works, but it's not easy. You have to follow a very strict um, menu, and you have to, you know, you have to be sure to adhere to all the rules, because there's lots of rules, and like I said, um, I'll link, I have a video <clears throat> about P2 already that I'll link somewhere on here. And then I'm going to make, probably my next video in this series is going to be um, the keys to success on phase two. Um, that'll be, you know, that'll have some tips that, um, you know, I found have worked. Some tips that other people have found that have worked for them. And just um, general kind of helpful information in order for you to be successful while you're doing phase two. I'll probably do one of those as well for phase three, as well as talk about some other things. Um, I thought this video was going to be a lot shorter than it actually is, so maybe uh, since I talked for a while, you guys got a little bit out of it. I hope that it was helpful. Please let me know um, down in the comment section if you thought it was helpful. And um, 
I'm looking forward to making more of these videos for you guys. So um, I wish you all success in your HCG journey and be looking for the next video. Bye.